Welcome to the second part guys. In second part, we are going to write the code for delete and update. First of all, we are going to write the code for delete. But in our database, we have only one data. So first of all, let me add one more data. Like here goes run, here goes US, here goes number this one, and here goes run and insert. Now we are going to delete one data. That is, there are two data in our database and we are going to delete one. So for this, first of all, we are going to create the listening event of this delete button underscore btn delete dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener and inside this clicking event of this button first of all we need to open the database in the writable mode so db is equal to open helper dot get writable database and here we are going to take the id so string id is equal to id is equal to underscore txt id dot get text dot to string and similar process like in the insert part we are going to create another method outside this uncreate method but inside the class so here goes public but this method is returning type so boolean delay data in the argument is string id and here we are going to return db dot delete and the delete uh, query is like delete from table name where id is something like one two but in case of ender what we need to do is we need to go through this database helper class so database helper dot table name and here goes we need to access the id so database helper dot column name that is column one and we need to pass the argument over here is equal to what and new string and this question mark is replaced by this value that is id and it should be greater than zero if this is greater than zero return true otherwise return false now simply call this method inside the clicky event of this delete button here goes delete data and pass the value that is id and we need to display the message to the user toast dot make text get application context and the text is deleted successfully and the toast dot length long dot so that's all now run this application select your device first of all let me show the database content so go to device and right click save it uh, we are going to select the music folder and like one ok now open up the db browser for sqlite go to file click on open database and select your database open browse data there you can see there is two database one id is one and two take support tape run nepal us this one this one now we are going to delete this second one that is id having two we are going to delete that one data so your application is open now enter two and click on delete deleted successfully now let's check whether that data is deleted from our database or not so go back to android studio again right click save it select any folder you want i'm going to select music 
who is music this one and two okay now uh, open div browser for sqlite go to file click on open database now select two there you go the data that has the id2 is deleted successfully now we are going to write the code for updating our data now similar process uh, we need to create the listening event of the button bt and update dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener now here simply copy the code of the insert button that is this one and here paste that one and here change the message that is updated successfully and we need to create another method public and the method is returning type value return type so update data and you can simply copy the parameter of the insert method so copy this one paste now you can also copy this one paste now we need to return db dot update now here goes database helper dot table name comma and here goes the content value and database helper dot column one plus double quotes and is equal to what and comma new string here goes id we need to define one variable over here so string id is equal to underscore txt id dot get text dot to string and here you uh, then we can pass the id here and this should be greater than zero so this query is similar to update set value where value r is equal to this one and greater than zero because if this is greater than zero return true otherwise return false now here uh, inside the clicking event of this button we need to call this update method so here goes update data now run this application activity launch successfully now here you can see name is tech support name address is nepal this one this one now we are going to update this value so the id is one run address is like uk phone i am going to enter random numbers and the email is and the email is also random so click on update updated successfully now let's check whether this information is updated or not so go back to android studio click on device manager right click save your database uh, music here goes Seven. Okay. Now file open database. Seven. Okay. There you go. Before updating our database, the name is text support name. Address is Nepal. But here you can see name is Ron UK in the random number four. And the email is random. All the value is updated. So that's in this video tutorial, guys. If you like this video. Share this video with your friends so that they can know about this useful tutorial and give thumbs up which really motivates us to make such programming video and stay connected with this channel. In order to stay connected with this channel, you need to subscribe this channel and don't forget to press that bell icon because when I upload a new tutorial, you will get the notification. And thank you once again for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.